Hey guys, Nate Scott here with PlayYourCourt.com. Today we're going to show you how to serve in volley in six steps. That's right guys, this video is for players with a player court rating of 70 and up. If you're not in our community, try it for free and get your player court rating. The serve in volley, it was once extinct but it is now back. The, the serve and volley was prevalent through much of the golden age. We saw it all the way through the 80s, but then in the 90s, you know, once the Ed Berg, Raptor, and Sampras, those guys started retiring, we just didn't see it as much. And part of that was because of the, the powerful rockets, the polyester strings, and a bigger, better athlete. But like everything in life, everything comes back full circle. It's back in style. It's back in style, all right? And maybe we don't see it as a, as a standalone style, but we are seeing serving volley and a whole lot more, especially from Federer and a few other players. Yeah, that's right. And guys, there's a couple times where it just makes a ton of sense to do this. If you're hitting big serves and you're getting your opponent to block that ball back, don't let them reset the point. Start on offense, move in, take that ball out of the air. Also, we're seeing a ton of players who aren't traditional serving volleyers serving and volleying on big points to just put yeah. the pressure on their opponents. So this is definitely something you want to work on and a weapon you want to have in your arsenal. All right, guys, hit that like button if you're ready to learn how to serve and volley in six steps. And don't forget to subscribe. It helps our business so much. Let's jump into the action. Step one is establishing a good kick serve to follow to the net. When we come to the net with a serve and volley, we want time. And what you'll see in this first demo, because I'm hitting a flat serve, although the serve's not bad, with Scott coming over the ball, I don't have enough time to get set and establish a good first volley. Now, if he was blocking, that would be a different story. All right, but here in this second demo, I've hit a kick serve that's staying out of his strike zone and it's giving me plenty of time to get into net, establish a split step and get into position to hit an optimal first volley. We'll get back to the coaching in just a second, but first, we really appreciate you watching our channel and as a thank you, we wanna give you our six part net mastery video course for free. This course will help you dominate the net. We normally sell it for hundred bucks, but if you stick around to the end of this video, we'll give it to you for free. All right, let's get back to the coaching. The second tip for a successful serve and volley is to move in behind your serve when your opponent is blocking, chipping, or if their position is well behind the baseline. So in this demo, you can see that my serve is catching Scott off guard and he's looking to block, which means it's really tough for him to hurt me, he's merely resetting, so it's a perfect time for me to move in. Tip number three for a successful serve and volley is time the split step and don't charge the net. A lot of us charge the net because we're so anxious to get into good position to hit that first volley. I know I've been guilty of it. If you are, leave a comment below. Tell us when you have trouble with it as well. So the correction here is time the split step and you wanna do this just before the returner makes contact with the return. It's okay if you're a little bit deeper in the court, you wanna make sure that you execute that first volley so that you're able to put away the follow-up volley. Tip number four for a successful serve and volley is that when you serve wide, use a drop volley on your first volley. And the reason we wanna do this is if you volley deep, everyone runs relatively well in a straight line, parallel with the baseline. And if they get there, you've created angles in which they pass you. It's very difficult for someone to get stretched wide and then change direction diagonal towards the net. So a drop volley is a fantastic option when you pull your opponent wide on the serve. Tip number five for a successful serve and volley is always look to cover the line. When you're serving volley and your opponent will often look for a pass down the line. It's the shortest part of the court, so it's gonna be the most advantageous for the returner. If you don't cover the line, you get flanked by the ball and it's extremely difficult to cover. Now, if the opponent plays cross court because the ball is still in front of you, you can easily split step and change direction in order to cover the wide ball. 
The sixth and final tip for a successful serving volley is simple. Make the first volley. Just by making the first volley, you take time away from your opponent. You put them under stress. And chances are the second volley you receive is gonna be easier than the first volley. Don't be too eager to put away the first volley. Make them play. All right, those are the six tips to get you up in net and be successful at serving and volleying. You don't have to be good at all of them. You just gotta get one or two. Use it as a surprise element. And they may not look at it with the amount I'm sweating, but if you're tired, if you're low on fumes, Mix this in, right? If you're playing somebody that's making you hit 12 balls from the baseline, mix this in and get a quick point. Yeah, guys, definitely get up there to the net, put some pressure on your opponents. Also, don't forget, we've got some goodies for you down in the comment section. If you look at the first comment, you'll see a link to try the player court community for free. If you're not in there already, you're messing up, so definitely check that out. And don't forget, you can grab our net mastery course for free there as well. We'll see you guys soon. Later.